Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, there's a lot of Bratz dolls here, including my Felicia, whose hair I was able to restyle. She looks pretty good, I would say. But this video is not about Felicia, so we're just gonna... I don't know why later down I wanted to... Yeah, right there. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing Holly and Laurel, the Rainbow High Twins, because I finally found them at my local Target. It only took, like... How long were you two out for? Like a week and a half? I always get things late. It's because I don't live in California. Like all those lucky people who can find them right away. Take your severed feet, Felicia. We don't need them in the middle of the review center. Yeah, so let's uh, let's get started looking, I guess. I'd like to apologize for any background noise. My parents are watching TV downstairs and they will not stop, even though I tell them I need to make a video. But whatever. It's not that loud right now, so we'll just deal with it. So here we've got Laurel and Holly. Holly's not a bad name, but I really don't like the name Laurel. I feel like they should have just said Lauren, like Lauren, because Laurel gives me Vietnam flashbacks. And the Rainbow High, and these are a special edition pack. I think they're just gonna start slapping this on everything though. Because Kaya was special edition, but she had like three outfits worth of clothing, and these two just have extra accessories. Though the box is pretty nice. I do appreciate like the hard plastic thingies. Though maybe they're special edition because they're not really a part of a series like Kaya Hart was. She wasn't a part of one, so. Here we have their artwork, which is basically just a mirror image aside from the legs. <laughs> Like, everything from here up is basically mirror image, I would say. They just, like, flipped it to make their hair be on the right side. So it says down here, whenever something happens, major gossip leaks, or when someone is cut, someone gets cut, these devious twins are behind it. One is fiery and one is cold as ice, and they always bring double the drama. Sorry for being so bad at reading. I got new glasses and I can't see out of them. I'm gonna get my eyes rechecked soon because this prescription I've had for a week and I still can't see. It's not going well. But anyway, all of that aside, it's now time to open the box because we've gone over everything that we needed to, so. Hmm, what song shall I sing today? Can y'all hear that nonsense my parents are watching? I don't understand how people are into action movies. I can't stand them. Tell me pretty lies, look me in my face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care at all. And you've been out all night, don't know where you've been, slurring all your words, not making any sense, but I don't fucking care at all. Cause I have had a lot of feelings for you. Care. They ain't even there. Cause I have hella feelings for you. I don't fucking care. I'm so fucking scared. Who are you fool? Who are you? Am I doing this right? Also, sorry for all the cussing. I felt like singing a song because I'm 18 now. I felt like singing a song with the bad words in it because I'm an adult. So I ripped the box a little over here. Not that big a deal. So I've seen some people keep the packaging for the twins, but I don't have anywhere to put it. I just straight up don't. So I'm not going to do that. But... I'm also trying not to completely destroy it, which is why I'm sad I ripped the back of the box, but I burped. So anyway, I think we just gotta start snipping, right? Snippy snip. God, they look like they're wearing wrapping paper. <laughs> why did my... Yeah, it looks like they're wearing wrapping paper, right? I can't be the only one who thinks that. Laurel, why does your name suck so bad? You're so pretty. You're literally giving me sunset shimmer. Dude, their hair is so soft. There's no glue. It's not crunchity munchity. <laughs> this is such a win. I'm so sick of the crunchity munchity. 
Oh, your hair's not crunchy munchy either. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. I'm having fun with this. This position looks so uncomfortable, like... <laughs> Why did they put their arms in here like this? I get it was probably to make it look like they were like kind of doing like the pinky thing, but they didn't even turn their hands the right way. Like if you want it to look like they're doing the pinky thing, you gotta like, you know? Or they already like that and I moved them. No, this would probably take way too much effort in the factory. Those employees don't get paid enough to wink the sister's pinkies. Hey queen, love the brown eyes. Yeah, um, definitely still my favorite. Sorry, Holly, I have a, I have a favorite. <laughs> I think I'm just biased because of the brown eyes. If they both had brown eyes, that would have been so great. But instead, they decided to make the twins have nothing in common other than hairstyle and wearing the same dress in different colors. They're the same person, but in different fonts, basically. My Holly looks like her lips are overlined. Just like a little. I feel like her top lip definitely looks a lot bigger than her bottom lip. So I think she might be slightly misprinted. I grabbed the only pack they had at my store, so. Ooh. I can't believe they don't have any glue in their hair. This is so great. I'm so glad that it only took two series for them to realize that nobody liked the glue in the hair to begin with. So these dolls do have stands. They are gold and silver, respectively, because Laurel is the queen, and Holly is just kind of here for the ride to make them twins. So, God. I know some of y'all like hate it with every fiber of your being when I put the camera down, but that's just how I roll, okay? We got a gold and a silver brush for them. We've got their stand pieces and I'm thankful that I finally learned that you're supposed to put them in, like, this way. So then this part is up here. Just for those of you who watch my older reviews and get frustrated with how stupid I am, it takes me a while to figure things out. I'm not the brightest knife in the place where they keep the knives. So these dolls do have articulation in the neck. Um, kind of just like pops back. You can see that her neck has moved back. Okay, now she's just falling off the stand. Um, okay, let me just hold her. You kind of feel like a little click, but these dolls are much more poseable. With her, it seems like her head kind of falls back if you don't get the click. Like, see, I'll move it forward a little. See, it just kind of like goes back to where it was before. If that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, did I call you Laurel? I meant Holly. Oh yeah, they got accessories. <laughs> I'm rusty. I haven't done a review in a while. So they both come with a second pair of shoes, a second pair of earrings, and a little purse. That corresponds with their color scheme. These shoes are pretty cute, I would say. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't open these, it's because I don't intend to switch their shoes, just because these pairs don't stay on as well as these ones do. So it's kind of just like a convenience thing for myself. But I guess I could swap them out just to show you how they look in them, even though it's just a pair of shoes. Not a major change. Yeah, may as well. We still got some time to kill in this video. We're gonna swap their earrings too. Does everything need to be tied down? Oh, Holly's ears have been stained by this, I guess. Damn, that's, that's fun. Might wanna check that on your own dolls. Yeah, I definitely don't like the way these look. They like really protrude out of the ears. And it looks really awkward. I'm probably gonna give these to Crystal. I feel like they'll match her color scheme better. Laurel's ears are stained as well, but not as bad as Holly's. It's the same thing where they just kind of stick out too far and look awkward. Here is a closer look at the shoes. I've actually decided not to try them on Miss Laurel just because I want to keep the factory rubber bands on. Yeah, you can see them around the ankles. Closer look at Holly's as well. I'm just going to straight up leave them in the packaging. I just like to leave things kind of new like that when I can. Their purses are really cute though. Um, Laurel's has the H and... No, you're Holly. 
H is for Holly. And Laurel has not the R for Laurel, I guess. Taking the letter from the middle name. Also, this is a joke. I know that it means rainbow high. I just think it's dumb that these students brand themselves with their school. Why are you walking advertisements for your own high school? Overall, these two are very pretty, though Laurel is my clear favorite. Holly just looks kind of too similar to series two Amaya. Oh, right, we gotta compare faces. Who will be my victim today? You. <laughs> Jade time. I can't stop my camera. So the twins have a new face mold, which kind of features a bit of a smaller eye shape, I would say. They also have their eye makeup done in a different way, where like the original Rainbow High dolls kind of have their eye makeup done. Like, you see how it like swoops up with the eyeliner? It doesn't really swoop up as much with them, you know? It's a very subtle thing, but somebody pointed it out to me and I just thought it was interesting. They do still feature these shiny faces, just a bit. Makes her look very greasy with that forehead. <laughs> I'm roasting her, but she's my favorite. So yeah, this is the face mold difference, I would say. I think it's pretty obvious, side by side. I couldn't tell before, but when you actually put them right next to each other, yeah, it hits you like a truck. Overall, these two are fabulous, and their hair does make up the colors of the rainbow, which is pretty cool. You can see it from here. I don't feel like turning them around. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!